Hello, this is Jim Chadwell with Chadwell Learns here at Saginaw High School with Mr. Brown's astronomy class. I've been really looking forward to visiting his class. Astronomy was always an interest of mine when I was a young child. Didn't have the opportunity to take astronomy in high school or college, and here our students are able to take this course and learn more about the universe around us. So here we go, we're gonna go in and learn more about astronomy here at Saginaw High School. So you have students that take astronomy and they may not know anything about it before they come in. So what, what's some things that always surprise them um, for students that are novices for it? I think it's the size of space, how big yeah. it is. That's one of the things we preach in here is uh, space is big. So we right. talk about all year long how big space is. And when they learn how many galaxies are out there, how many stars, that really puts it into perspective how small we are. We still always talk about how important and significant we are, sure. but knowing our place in space, it really shows uh, how big it is. So you used a lot of models today. I thought this was really cool. I thought that was a really neat way to teach that. So one of the things that if we look at planets, all the planets kind of go in the same direction. They go counterclockwise. But in the very beginning, whenever the solar system was forming, that wasn't quite the case. We had a lot more planets than what we have now, but a lot of those either crashed into the sun, Jupiter, they broke apart. So for us, what we're gonna look at is the beginning of the universe. And if we do it right, I want y'all to watch kind of towards the end what we're left with. So Dr. Chadwell, I'm gonna set on the count of three. Take your hands and just kind of lightly uh, swing them out in both directions with all your marbles. One, two, three. That's perfect. So if you look right here, look what we're left with. What do you notice about the direction of all the marbles that are remaining? They're all the same. All the things that were going opposite directions, what happened to them? They all got the same. I heard a word over here. They collided. But there's another force out there that it's not just gravity, but pulling for it. Uh, today we talked about dark matter and what that is. Um, and the fact is, we don't know what it is. And I think it was cool that we still had a demonstration to explain that we don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, it was basically just about dark matter and um, you know the opposite of gravity in our universe. But so many of them are so dead set. It's not for me, but they still enjoy this class. They, and then they, that finds that science isn't all this scary numbers and equations, that there's a, a pretty side to it where it invites them and they can have this as a hobby and interest without making it an entire career path. Uh, we have all these questions from when we're little kids going to a planetarium until you know, uh, taking my grandma to look through a telescope, whatever it is. Uh, space is this passion because it's so unknown. It just, it's so inviting. So if you wanna learn about space, come join astronomy at any of our uh, high schools here. All right, hey, thanks Mr. Brown. Yes, I appreciate sir. it, I've learned a lot. Right.